Your Excellency, you were very blessed because you met all the poor popes already. Five popes with uh, Pope, uh, Pope, Pope. Uh, Well, I could not meet uh, John Paul first. Ah, okay, so yeah. five popes, let's say. No? And now with the current one you know, who really visited Korea and you were there as the Nunsho of Korea, so you were able to see he wakes up early to pray and ask you, you know, to pray for him, which is, diba, it makes you very humble, a Pope asking me to pray, diba? Parang hindi ka makapaniwa. But then, if you come to analyze it, he has a heavy heart because with all the problems that is being given to him, he needs to be very strong, you know, to be on top of everything, to make the right decision. And he needs our prayer, diba? I-share mo dito konti, no? Why do you think the Pope, Pope Francis really is asking Everyone he met, kahit kami, pag nag-audience kami, yun ang parating last word niya. Please pray for me. Well, it is, uh, it is what we call the spirit of insufficiency. Because to be the vicar of Christ is almost an impossible task. To be the head of the church is almost an impossible task. To um, lead 3,000 bishops who have their own problems is almost an impossible, an impossible task. So uh, he accepted it because he, he, he always saw that God chose him to be, to be uh, what we call the leader of the church. And uh, it is a sort of humility on him, on his part, mm -hmm. that he needs our prayers. He wakes up at 4 o'clock in the morning, he does his prayers his, after his coffee, and uh, his prayers and then his speeches. And then he reads and reads and reads, uh -huh. and he listens to everybody. And uh, so, popes are, are what we call extraordinary people. I mean, nobody can be pope without God's special grace. I think so. And uh, so, I think I think this is this is um, a special charism for him that when you're a pope, you get the grace of being the pope. When you're a bishop, you get the grace of being a bishop. When you're a layman, you get the graces needed. You need to the become graces. a good lay person. Mm -hmm. So, this is God gives us the right to call energy, the right vitamins, to be good bishops, good popes, and good Catholics. As you said, he learned to accept it, and he know a lot of people expected mm -hmm. a change, di ba? Kaya medyo, kahit na marami po nagko-contra sa kanya, maybe that's also the reason why prayers will help yeah. him also. This is how you know? see, the, now the, the conclave is mm -hmm. secret, but uh, from what we hear, as the votes get counted, they would know who is coming out. And uh, this person who is the leading candidate normally is sweating and says, no, I cannot accept. Most of the cardinals, especially those cardinals beside him, would say, accept, 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 accept. And then he needs that, that, that courage. Okay. Oh. And uh, when this final solution comes out, final votes come out and ready to be burned, there is that acceptance. And everybody, all cardinals would uh, say in the name of the church, please accept. And uh, so... It is not, it is not uh, a job that uh, one campaigns for. No? Yes, it is yes. a job that uh, you accept because he would have gone back easily to Argentina and uh, be, a quiet and, uh, life, quiet yeah, life yeah. and uh, be with your own people. But then he has to start all over again. It's not no? political yeah, start at all. all, over all again. You know? And I remember he said, uh, well, the first time I wanted to do was order a pizza. <laughs> and I did not know that uh, to order a pizza is to go through various offices, gendarmes, security, <laughs> that it arrives very cold already. It's no good anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so the first change, thing we did yeah. when he went to Korea, we had uh, pizza. first night pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so any message you would like to share with the televiewers or with the Filipino audience? Yes, uh, yeah. my, 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 I have a very beautiful uh, experience with the Filipino migrants. The migrants, the first thing they do is center their lives around the church. Not only on uh, what we call external worship, but there is what feel of, the feeling of, uh, of emptiness in them, that they need uh, the, feel. the uh. religion, they need a Catholic church. And uh, my message to our Filipino um, brothers and sisters in the Philippines is, faith is not something that we can just inherit. And I see from my, the migrants, that their faith is something they bring with them and they live with them. So for us, for us who are, who are what we call fortunate to stay here in the Philippines, I mean, we have to strengthen our faith, not by just going to church, but through our lives, uh, trying to help others. 
Uh, faith alone, as a word, has no meaning if it has no, does not extend to love of others. So the Filipino community, the Filipino church, um, has a big challenge to do, has a big challenge to, to face uh, in their own families and in their own communities. So keep the faith. God will always help us. Napakaganda po ng share ni His Excellency, Most Reverend uh, Osvaldo Padilla na formerly uh, nunsyo po siya sa Korea. No? Yan ang po ang last assignment niya. At I'm sure kung napanood po niyo part 1 at recently part 2 natin interview with him, marami po kayong matutuhan. No? The reason why he became a priest, it started piety. As he said, piety started in the family where his parents, you know, his grandmother, then from his mother, and also through the example of his two uncles who become a priest. So makikita natin, the family plays a very important role in molding you to be what you are today. Then sabi niya kanina, at, and I agree with him also, God can be mischievous, God can be a joker, kasi what he doesn't want, what his mother doesn't want, really is what he has been doing now, no? For almost more than one half, sabi ni Nuncio, na talagang Doon siya, na-assign siya sa man, maraming bansa po, both Africa, you know, Latin America, even here in Asia. To be a noon show is not very easy. It needs a lot of training. Sabi niya, the advice given to him by Cardinal Rosales that you cannot become a good deployer if you are not a good priest. Tama. So marami po kayong matutuhan sa kanyang experience, which he happily shared it with us. Na alam ko po, hindi pwede sabihin while he is active as the noon searcher. But you can see this experience, how the Holy Spirit works, you know, especially the visit of His Holiness sa Sri Lanka. Doon natin makikita, there is an unseen hand working hand in hand with you if you really are very determined to do service to your country, to your Pope, to your people. Sana nagustuhan po ninyo ang aming magandang episode hanggang sa muli dito po sa programa ng Power Tonight with Elvira. Music